ones are sticking it out. If they don't give me rumors, then I'll give them a while. I'm gonna smoke my tires from the victory cows. I'm gonna be there, be there. I wanna see my face up on the jumbo screen. Feel the wild high metal of a winning machine. Because you win or you lose, and there's no in between. I wanna be there, be there, be there. NASCAR on speed. It's time to start the fifth season of the Penzo Truck Series. We're here at the Daytona International Speedway where we always start the Penzo Truck Series out. We're here for the Geico 250 under the lights in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's sure to be a wild and interesting fun race here this afternoon. We're going to see three and maybe even four ride racing and some close, hard, good racing for 15 laps. One driver will come out on top here at Daytona. And starting on the pole, picking up right where he left off, Mathis Wells, your previous champion in the Penzo Truck Series, season number four champion, starts on the pole here tonight. Two's outside is the 15 of Derek Bouchard. Then at third, you have Keith Stevens. Fourth is Matt Hamill, running up the top five. Another champion, Trey Rainey, in the 18. Then sixth, you have Ricky Miller. Seventh is Greg Lee. Eighth, Tim Randolph. And ninth, we have Ray Sir and Jonathan Buford, rounds out the top 10. The rest of the field has Daniel Price in the 23. Two's inside, Rise Bennett in the five. Then you have Jack Canarama with Cole Luigi in the third one, another Penzo Truck Series champion, season three champ. Then you have Michael Sanders and Keyshawn Richardson, along with Steven Taylor and Cynthia Bright. Then there's Lawrence Palampon and Max Rossi. Marshall Burrow with Roland Cook. Then you have Danny Bright taking over the 88 this season. As Luke Gray moved to a different team, you have Francis Dustin to the inside of the 88. Then you have Landon Lines and Blake Petrus, along with Anton Charles Bois and Eli Tomlin. And then you have Mike Burrow with Jake Galloway. Luke Rennie moving to Brad Kozowski Racing's number 29 truck. Riley Spray Tube 2 is inside. Then you have Oliver Galloway with Jay Jefferson moving down to the Penzo Truck Series. And in the 5 row, Danny Lloyd in the 17. Two is outside. The 13 of Anthony Hernandez rounds out the field as our 36 truck field here for the Geico 250 at the Daytona International Speedway. It's going to be a wild race. It's going to be an interesting, interesting race. 15 laps. We'll see how it goes after this starting command. And a great command to fire the engines of our 36 truck field here in the Geico 250 here at Daytona International Speedway. It's going to be a wild and interesting race here tonight as our Season 5 opener here at the Daytona International Speedway Plate Racing in the Pentel Truck Series. So Matthew Wells won the championship last season. Now moving to the 2 truck and we'll start on the pole here at Daytona picking up right where he left off. Further back in the field, Luke Rainey made the chase with the 88 team last season, but struggling to get a win and struggling basically the whole season, decided to part with that 88 team looking to win a championship. He's now with Brad Kozlowski racing in the 29. He rolls off towards the back of the field, called Luigi in the third one, another champion of the series. Your season number three champion has been here at Daytona in the trucks three times, all three times. 36th place, that's an average finish of 36th. The thing about that, there's only been 36 trucks every time in the field. He's looking to one-up that with a win here tonight. Mathis Wells is on the pole. He leads to the green flag as they come to the trial bowl. Wells, Bouchard, to leads to the green flag. And the season five opener at Daytona is green. Mathis Wells is going to lead the field round from the poles. There are three wide for the back. Wells, five bonus points there for leading the left. That's some big five points there. That could be five points for making the chase or not. Back there, they are three and four wide trying to get through the pack. Is up front. The 25 looking on the two Wells, but Wells shuts the door. Keeps even trying to get there, but these two have gapped themselves. They're side by side. Third, and look at them already four wide. That's the 33 of Cynthia Bright in the middle of all that going around. Goes the 33. Seven, the truck with the 77 back up the track. They go. They stay on the apron so far. We are still under the green flag condition. No yellow. Yes, the 33 and the 77. Michael Sanders.
and Cynthia Brightco spinning no yellow yet. The four can up onto the racetrack. Luke Rainey and some others gonna get slowed up along with Oliver Galloway. We stay green for now. Land Lines does a great job get back up without contact. We stay green. Meanwhile, up front, the 25, Keith Stevens has gone up front. Mathis Wells, though, does clear for a second. Elk to the outside of the 25 as they hit the approach to turn one. Look at the two. Looking for a crossover here. Wells to the bottom lane into, into turn one. And the field has been slightly shrunk here as a few trucks did go spinning. A few did go off pace there because of it. 77 and the 33 definitely got the worst of it as they went spinning, but then the four come back up onto the track. I believe slowed up the double zero and the 29. Those are probably the only drivers that got slowed up. They're hoping for a caution to come out. They could try and get caught up, especially the 33 and the 77 going spinning there. They definitely want to yell flag. They want some new tires. They don't want to come down under the green flag to get tires. They're going to fall lap down, obviously. So Greg Lee has gone out front now in the 14 truck as they come off turn number four. See them three by three in the pack. Lee leads. There for second, Camarama clears. Here comes Max Rossi in the 28 to the bottom lane. Going to move to third, looking for that second position as they approach to turn one. So at the front two stay single files. They're three wide. Here comes to the bottom lane, Jonathan Buford in the 07 truck. With the push from the 21 of Keyshawn Richardson. How about the 88 of Danny Bright there as well, moving his way forward. They come down the back stretch. Two trucks single file. Now here comes the 50 of Cameron I'm pulling low on the 14 of Greg Lee. Where does the 07 of Buford go? He's looking low. He's looking to the high side. In the end, he's going to go with the 14 of Greg Lee. The 50 of Jack Caramo trying to get underneath the 14. And they're four wide again back there. 18 of Trey Rennie in a mess. Sideways, they go with the 11. They're trying to keep it under control. Derek Richard trying to get ahead of it. And they somehow sorted out with some contact being made all over the place. Greg Lee doing a great job staying up front. Mathis Wells is pretty strong here tonight from the pole. Still there on the outside lane, fighting back. He grabs second back from the 50 camera. Well, now look into the inside. Greg Lee to turn one. Wells has something else under that truck to the point he's going to go in turn one and two. And we almost already have five laps complete. We're going to come to ten laps to go. We've had two four wide incidents, and so far both have not caused a caution flag. Wells pulls up in front of Greg Lee to clear. And there comes the 80 of Danny Bright, three wide to the bottom lane, with a push from the 84 truck of Francis Dustin. The 11 as well coming forward. That is Jake Galloway. Look at this pack, three by three, except for the truck out front. That's the two of Mathis Wells. Now Danny Bright clears to get to second. Where does Dustin go? He's looking low, but does the 88 have enough of a run to stay clear? It looks like he does. So Danny Bright now going to try, try and run down the two of Mathis Wells. We have right now, uh, we have a few yellow trucks up at the front. The two, the 88, the 84 coming out to the front. It seems like once two trucks break away, they can really pull away. It looks like there's a little bit of a stalemate three wide on back from third place. Francis Dustin there in the A4. And Dustin trying to get clear, but stays down there. Now he moves up to the top lane, all the way up in front of the 14 of Greg Lee. Try and get that push. The 14 did have a run off the corner. He's going to try and stay clear. The 11 of Jake Galloway. Looks like Dustin does. He has a run to the 88 now. Danny Bright looking low. As they go through three and four, three wide, fourth on back now. As the front three stay clear. Mathis Wells from the pole. Has led mu much of this race here at Daytona. Danny Bright looking low. Look at Francis Dustin going with that 88. Danny Bright may block that 84 a little bit there. But as they come to the trial, Danny Bright leads out of the travel. Wells at the stripe. But Bright has the advantage into turn one. But Dustin looking to take it three wide. And he does. Francis Dustin three wide to the point here at Daytona. Keyshawn Richardson come look at that pack right there. Greg Lee, Jonathan Buford getting a little close there as they come off turn two. Wells fades back a little bit as they come down the back stretch. Lee around into the five and they're wrecking big time back straight away. Trucks all over the place. The 41 of Tim Rapp on them. And they have stacked up here on the back stretch. The big one, Trey Rainey, Max Rossi. A lot of trucks. The three truck getting away. The 23. Some truck coming in like the ones that are so. We'll see if they can get caught up. But the yellow flag is out. Francis Dustin lean us back to the caution flag. Mathis Wells is second. Trying to get back. Danny Bright third. And Keyshawn Richardson fourth. So those four get away, but others are damaged. There was the 51. We saw Anthony Straub Ball turn up. Francis Dustin did get away, and this is a huge break for Michael Sanders, Cynthia Bright. They were slowed down up. There's Keith Stevens. Called Luigi again. That Daytona heartbreak in the Pennzoil Truck Series. He's finished 36th every race here in the Truck Series. It looks like he's going to have another bad finish. He has a ton of front end damage. There's Oliver Galloway. Anton Charlebois, Jay Jefferson, Roland Cook, Stephen Taylor, Jake Galloway, Matt Hamill, Buford, Palinpon, Hernandez may have gotten some damage, Trey Rainey, Greg Lee, Derek Bouchard, Ray Sir, Max Rossi, Mike Burrow, so many trucks. There's Eli Tomlin. There's Tim Randolph. Blake Petras may have gotten away. Daniel Price had some damage. The five, Ryze Bennett has some damage. Danny Lloyd may have gotten away with it. So a lot of trucks involved as... We get past halfway here in the Geico 250 
and we got our first caution of the afternoon. It looked like the 14 of Greg Lee may have gotten spun around into the bottom lane, and it was on from there, so Lee has some heavy damage after a crash. We'll see what happened. Ran out the caution flag here late in the going in the Geico 250. This was probably the calmest it could have been. They were just three wide and double foul. The 14 of Greg Lee, though, he's getting an awkward push from the 07 of John Buford behind him. It's going to spin the 14 down into the 5 of Ryan Bennett. And there they go into the 13 of Anthony Hernandez. Hernandez goes around there. It's the 11 of Galway going around. The 14 comes up the track and it just clogs everyone up. There's the 3 of Eli Tomlin. The 41 there we see of Tim Randolph, Anton Charles Bois getting all bumped around. Trey Rainey, Jay Jefferson. Buford comes back up the track. There's the 25 truck, Keith Stevens. There's Trey. There's Jack Canaramo. Looking for Coluigi. Can't really see him. But there's Palinpon in it. Here come the trucks that were kind of further back, like Landlines, Luke, Rainey, Oliver, Galway. But I believe Galway did get some pretty significant damage. He may have come in there at full speed and nailed into the back of this wreck. But a lot of trucks involved in the big one here down the back stretch in the Geico 250 in the Penzo Truck Series. And there's the 31 getting to the back of the 25. It looks like it's at the 30 racer that had gone around. There's land lines flying through. I think he got away. But I think it was the double zero of Oliver Galloway that came into the crash and got some of the others. Like, there's Jay Jefferson. Oh, my gosh. Maybe been Luke Rainey as well. They were going low. Oh, Luke hit Anton Charles Ball hard, and the 51 went for a tumble down the back stretch. That's a hard hit. I think they were trying to get low there. And maybe should have just follow the four truck through his land lines, went high, stay on the gas, and missed it as the 29 and the double zero came low. It looks like. I can't really see for the dust, but Anton Charbois takes a flip down the back. And that's a hard. You can't really see for the, the dust, the grass, the smoke, how that 51 went flipping. But it's big. That's a lot of good trucks involved, a lot of contenders. Right here. Oh. That's a hard flip. I think the 29 got him up off the ground, then the double zero kind of came into him, got into Charbois there at the end. So we're going forth a few drivers. Cole Luigi, one of our past Pentel Truck Series champion, season number three. And now here at Daytona, more bad luck for Cole Luigi in the Pentel Truck Series. And I think he's admittedly opened up that Super Speedway Racing, not his forte. And right here gets involved. And the big one down the back stretch. Nowhere for him to go. He tried to get low, just couldn't get down long time and spins it around after the fact. He may try and stay in the race to gain some position. He's definitely going to not finish the last as we saw a lot of trucks on pit road. One of them being the 29 of Luke Reigns. He came into the mess trying to a uh, new beginning with Brad Kozlowski racing and it's going to start poorly for Luke as he's involved in the big one. Hard hit right there with the 51 shot. Oh, you can see that 51 going flying there. That's probably one of the better shots we'll have of that. It's also going forth another champion, the 18 of Trey Rainey. He was sideways in the middle of this. I don't know how much damage he got in it. He find Blake Petrus in the 19. He pushed the 19 into it. Petrus, and there's just nowhere to go. I really don't know how many trucks are going to have left competitively after this because so many of them were involved in this crash. The truck's going hard. Trey tried to get away there. And one more on board, the 81 of Jay Jefferson, a veteran in the Target Series and the Gary Cup Series. Trying it out in the Penzo Truck Series for the first time full season. He's involved here in the big one. He's running around towards the rear of the field and just contact me in front of him. And there away they went. And I'll see the 51 actually come flipping in here as he gets, gets it back around as the 29 is coming into that 51. Right there. Look at Charles Bois go flipping there. And then the, that's where the Jay got most of his damage right there. The truck came in front of him. He hit hard in the front end. And from all that happening, Francis Dustin, the A4, leads them back to the caution flag. Mathis Wells in second. It's Gibby Dustin to lead us back to the green flag. And the Geico 250 here at Daytona in the Penzo Truck Series. This will be the final restart of the race no matter what. It's going to be four laps to go. A yellow flag would end it at this point. From that crash, Luke Rainey, Oliver Galloway, Anson Charlebois, Keith Stevens, Jay Jefferson, Mike Burrow, Eli Tomlin. Tim Randolph and Code Luigi all out of this race. 27 trucks on the racetrack. A lot of them probably damaged. We'll see how slow they go if they will be caught in four laps by your race leaders. Derek Bouchard in the 15 came down Harold Hill restart at the tail end of the field. I believe he's, uh, yeah, he's just getting caught because of all the front damage he has. So Francis Dustin leading the race trying to hold on, but he has a champion behind Mathis Wells who's been strong all night. Danny Bright, Keyshawn Richardson, Danny Lloyd are the top five at the restart here on lap number 12.
See trucks are going high around some of the damage trucks. Remember that is legal to go high. Look at Wells pushing the A4 of Dustin. Does he want to get out front? Look at Bright trying to block there. Can't get done. Keyshawn Richardson three wide for a second. That's going to really hurt Wells. He's up top three wide now. Look at the five all damaged, all torn up, beaten and battered. But the five of Ryze Bennett coming forward. Some of these damage trucks are, they are moving. We'll see down the back stretch. Richardson trying to get low on the A4. Dustin got a great restart. Here comes Keyshawn Richardson down the back stretch. He has a push from behind. The 21 truck to the point. Keyshawn Richardson out front now at Daytona. We're coming to three to go. Look at the five of Rice Bennett all torn up there and still in it. That rear end is mangled. Rice Bennett trying to hold off the four of Land Lions. Remember, Lions got through that crash cleanly. He was off pace from that first incident. And now here he is inside the top five with three to go at Daytona. The four of Lions peeks out three wide, trying to get it to the five, but the five does a great job getting down in front. Francis Dustin still top. Look at Danny Bright Mathis Wells teamed up on the top lane, trying to work together. Down the back stretch. Coming to two to go this time by. Look at the 23. He was involved in that crash as well. Price was. Daniel Price. Here he is now. Look at Dustin, though. That five a little bit slower down low. And Francis Dustin does clear for a second. Yeah, I think that five might be showing some struggling signs now. That rear end damage might not be all too well. It's getting a great push here if he moves up high. That 23 and the others could have a shot. Here they come to two to go this time. Keyshawn Merchant leads Francis Dustin to two laps of racing to go at Daytona. Five miles left and we'll determine a Daytona winner in the Pencil Truck Series. Dustin pulls low. Look at Rice Bennett going three wide in the five truck. That damage not slowing off at all. Here comes Rice Bennett to the bottom lane. How about the 60 of Riley Sparrow to come forward? The 12 of Ricky Miller as well. I think the 30 of Rice start coming forward as well. Rice Bennett had damage struck with the rear end does clear down the back stretch. Riley Sprint, look at the A4 up to the top lane. It slows the 5 and the A4. Riley Sprint to a huge push from Ricky Miller. It's barely too up right now with Daytona. To the white flag this time. Will we make it under green flag conditions? The 5 back up the middle lane. The 21 sideways with the 23. They saved their trucks for now. Sprint trying to block down low. Ricky Miller gets to the bottom lane. To the white flag. We're on the final lap in Daytona. Ricky Miller now leads the race. No help up top. Look at Rice starting out to the bottom lane, the 30. How about Danny Loy the 17 truck? Does he have a say in this? The four lane and lines back up to the front. Two trucks side by side. Rice are going to clear Ricky Miller down the back stretch. Does Danny Lloyd ever run? Does Landon Lines ever run? Lloyd goes low. Landon Lines looking three wide down the back stretch for the lead. Does Rice serve too big of a lead? Is he out front though at the right time? Sir is clear to turn number three. Danny Lloyd trying to get down front. Landon Lyons. Do we see a last ditch effort off of turn number four? Racer leads in to turn number four. And off of four they come to the trioval. Racer is no one near him. Danny Lloyd can't make a move. To the checkered flag. The 30 of Racer will win here at Daytona. What a mad dash to the finish. And Racer wins the race over Danny Lloyd and the others. They could not form up behind him. Racer wins the Geico 250 at the Daytona International Speedway. What a victory for that 30 team and a great start to their season as they know they've gotten a great amount of points here tonight to try and help them towards the chase. So great job to race, sir, as he wins here at Daytona. Let's now go check the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the Geico 250 at the Daytona International Speedway. We had one caution flag for four laps and seven lead changes. Seven different drivers led the race. Racer got out front at the right time, held off the challenge from behind. Sir wins the race lead in just one single lap. As Danny Lloyd from 35th, the last row, ends up second. Landon Lyons third. Keyshawn Richardson fourth. And Mathis Wells, the guy who started on pole, he had one of the faster trucks here tonight. Last season's champion ends up fifth. A great way to kick off the season after you win the championship. Then Ricky Miller in 6th, almost had 30th, and same with the Riley's Brewing Tube in 7th. Daniel Price ends up 8th. Blake Petras, a quiet ninth place for him, and Rise Bennett rounds up the top 10. So there's your top 20. Francis Dustin, the most laps led to 5, will end up 11th here tonight. Danny Bright was also up there most of the race, ends up 12th, as in the end there. It looked like it was about 14 trucks in that lead pack. Marshall Burrow, they're towards the back of that pack, 15th, and then on back. All damage, Steven Taylor, Jake Galloway, Jonathan Buford, Cynthia Bright, Anthony Hernandez. See all these trucks down here as I look down at the rest. Michael Sanders, Trey Rennie, Matt Hamill, Derek Bouchard, Max Rossi, Roland Cook, Regally limped it around there at the end. Obviously, they did not get in the way, so that was a great job by them. 
28th on down involved in the big crash there in the backstretch and were out. Luigi, Tim Randolph, Eli Tomlin, Mike Burrow, Jay Jefferson, Keith Stevens, Anton Charlebois, Oliver Galway, and Luke Rainey. So that's your 36 truck field Daytona. And now let's go see how the points shake out. Obviously, it's only one race down and basically the points are going to look a lot like how they finish. But here are the point standings. Racer leads the points by 10 points over Danny Lloyd in second. Then Landon Lyons, Keyshawn Richardson tied third and fourth. Mathis Wells, fifth. They have Raspberry to Ricky Miller, Daniel Price, Francis Dustin, Blake Petras inside the top 10. Basically, it's basically the same except if you have... Maybe some laps led, most laps led. I see right, right there, Francis Justin ended up 11th, but is now 9th in the points because of those most laps led bonus. So the drivers up here, feeling pretty comfortable. They got off, to, they, their season off to a great start, but uh, anything can happen. It's only the beginning of the season. These points still very close together. Anything can happen. You look down at the rest here. These drivers trying to pick it back up now after their DNF here at Daytona. They can definitely do it though. Still a ton of races left before we get to the chase. Anything can happen. And... The Pencil Truck Series has always been one of the wilder series we've had. So as we look ahead, race number two will be held out west. We go to Las Vegas for the Exalta 250. I'll see you guys then.